Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to mine Dynex, which is a new coin that's been on my radar for a couple of weeks now, and it keeps showing up as the top performer in every chart. I started mining it on iOS, but you can also mine it on Windows. I want to show you some of the results I'm getting, as well as some of the settings I'm using, the new pools and the recently released software SRB Miner. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm here at dynexcoin.org. Uh, how to get Dynex, get Dynex here, mine Dynex by using Dynex chips. You can run your own node and get pay in Dynex. Dynex wallets, we're gonna get a wallet there. And how to trade Dynex, uh, there are a couple of changes now that you can trade uh, the DNX uh, coin. Um, but if you can see here on hashrate.no slash GPUs, Pretty much the top performer for all the GPUs out there right now. See, Dynex, Dynex, Dynex everywhere. So what I did is I put one of my rigs. Uh, I can see, you can see here uh, it has a multiple, a, a good sample of different GPUs uh, from all ones 1070 Ti uh, to 1660 Super, some regular uh, 1070 GTX 1070, a 3060 LHR. We have a 2080 Super, which is performing amazing, <laughs> uh, mining this coin. Uh, I got a 3080 LHR here. You know, it's, it's, it's almost uh, matching the 2080 Super right now, uh, burning much more energy. So uh, 3070, and so a good selection of or, or sample uh, to test this coin. So let's start and, and let's go over the what you need. Okay, let's go back to dynexcoin.org, get Dynex, and then Dynex Wallet. Let's, let's go ahead and set up the wallet. That's the first thing you're gonna need. Uh, it says here, the fastest and easy way to send and receive Dynex is the mobile well, web wallet. So you just click here, um, open the web. Uh, you're gonna need to create a, your own wallet here, creating a wallet. You're gonna set up with email, password, and two-factor authentication, like a Google app, and then you're gonna uh, get in there. Uh, it's gonna look like this. Uh, you know, start seeing your balances as, as the pool starts uh, sending the transaction, so you can see there. All right, and now that we have the wallet ready, you're gonna go back to hashrate.no slash GPUs, and you're gonna find your GPU uh, here. I'm gonna do one of the, the ones in this rig, which are performing really well, the 2080 Super. So you see Dynex is the highest with six revenue, 85 per day, 65 profit per day so I'm gonna click there and then click on Dynex uh, you're gonna have the uh, overclock settings here but here says the miners for Dynex so I just tried this new one which is called SRV miner um, and it's performing really well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be uh, performing this uh, test on SRV miner on e EK pool so EKA pool so just click there <clears throat> that's the pool so if you go to ekapool.com uh, that's the pool um, I'm gonna say list of coins here Dynex and here's here's the actual pool for the for the Dynex next word is out oh, 10.48 mega hash per second um, and if you want to mine solo it's only one point kilo hash so uh, let's go here and getting things started. So what you want to do is getting started here. And here are the connection details for Asia, for uh, Europe, and for the US. And here are the ports that we're going to be using. This is all hardware. This is high-end hardware. And 19666 for all hardware. 19667 for high-end. And 1968 for SSL connection. All right, so we got all the details here. All right, so let's start with um, mining for Windows. So. We're gonna be using SR, SRB Miner here for GPU. It covers both NVIDIA, AMD, and, and CPU, but uh, so in my case, I'm gonna be using NVIDIA GPUs, but it, it does cover AMD, so that's good. Supports Windows, Linux, and iOS, and also gonna cover iOS later on. So what you wanna do is you click Download, and it takes you to GitHub, and that's the latest and greatest. Um, and so go ahead and download the Windows 64 here, there. Go ahead and extract the file that you downloaded and you should get all these files. 
and here is the start mining dynex dot uh, batch file so you can edit right click and edit and you see these are the parameters we gotta we gotta put there so let's go back to the uh, miner here to the pool actually to the mining pool and let's start uh, uh, filling up this uh, parameter so first the server we're gonna I'm in the US you choose your server there then wallet address so you want to go to the recently download uh, wallet you're gonna click receive and you're gonna copy that address copy let's go back there you're gonna paste it there all right, this is optional worker's name. You're gonna type a worker's name. Say Rick one. Uh, we do wanna do in a pool, so no no solo mining here and generate configuration. And there it is. For Windows, this, this is what you need. That's for Dynex Solve. We're gonna actually use SRV mining, so we're gonna click here on the second one. This I'm gonna close. All right, so that's what we need for Windows. So you're gonna copy this. All right, go back to your uh, where you downloaded the SRB miner, right? And then we have the batch uh, file open. I'm gonna replace all this. All right, then file, save. This should be good to go. All right, and once you save the batch file, we're ready. So we're gonna fire this off, double click. All right, so we're starting to um, establish all the parameters by default detecting GPU device devices here no restriction error zero 01 let's see what's that about downloading my log okay so now it's downloading I think because I rerun it twice that's why but uh, it's, it's finally downloading the Dynex compute all right let's wait All right, and started mining. Here it says algorithm Dynex. It's a three percent fee. Uh, GPU enable, uh, GPU mining enable, CPU mining disable, watchdog enable, and GPU tweaking enable. So, and you see, you can see here, uh, starting to connect to the to the pool, dnx.us.eka pool. All right, F difficult. So it's, it's working. It's getting jobs received. So we started mining. All right, and first results I'll in here for my, this is a 3060 Ti that I have in this computer. Um, and I'm getting about 292 hash per second uh, with 96 watts. So we gotta make the, we gotta go back to the tool and see uh, how good we're doing there. Uh, and we start, and then you start tweaking the OC settings and see if we can improve this. So let's go back to, Here, if, uh, let's go back to GPUs. We're at hash rate .no. Let's find my 3060 Ti where I'm doing the, this test. There, Dynex. All right, so it's saying uh, clock offset to 10. The core clock lock is 2100, and the memory clock offset is 2000 megahash, megahertz. Uh, power limit 150. We should be getting here it says uh, we should be getting about 411 hash per second with 80 watts. So that that will be an ideal uh, medium overclock, right? So that's what it says here, medium. So let's go back and see if we can tweak that. Okay, I'm starting to see better results now. 337 with 98 watts. Um, what I did is I use. Um, MSI afterburner, uh, I tweak the core clock and the memory clock. Uh, make sure you're using the Windows settings because here it says uh, this is for Linux 2000 for Windows 1000. Um, and then I, I uh, put the power limit all, all the way down to 50%. So I'm, I'm do seeing here, seeing uh, better performance and you know 98 watts. So you gotta keep playing with this. Uh, Let's assume I'm gonna keep tweaking. Uh, I'm still learning about this point, so uh, let me know if you if you see other results with a, this is a 3060 Ti. All right, let's jump over Hive OS and how to mine it on this uh, Linux OS. Um, so I've been mining using a bunch of different cards here. 
Um, what you need to do first, you gotta go back to your farm and create your wallet, right? You're gonna set up your new wallet. You're gonna type the uh, DNX, C, DNX coin and then the address, you're gonna get it from the same uh, um, wallet here, copy, same deal. You're gonna paste it there. Uh, you put a name there, wallet. DNX, and then you create the wallet. And once you have the wallet, you gotta go to your worker, and then we're gonna create the flash sheet, which is the, the new stuff here. So this is the one you wanna use. Uh, so let's go back to the pool and get the instructions. These are the, we, we just use this for the windows, right? And now we're gonna use this for high OS. Uh, it's pretty complicated, but what you need to do is you're gonna create a new fly sheet. So uh, let's create a new one. Fly sheet. Uh, we're gonna create a new one. We're gonna the, the type uh, in the coin ticker, so DNX. The wallet, you're gonna use your own uh, wallet that we just created. The pool, you're gonna say configuring to miner. And then when you say select miner, we're gonna say custom. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna say custom and then set up minor config and here minor name. So let's put the values for all this uh, form. All right, and what I did is I put all the custom values that we need in this notepad. We can copy and paste into the actual form. I grabbed pretty much everything from the actual uh, site here, the mining pool, ETA pool. So all the data is there, the port, the mining pool address. Uh, so everything is there. Um, so I put it into here, so let's go back and start uh, copying and paste. This our B minor, uh, and it's called master, custom here. There, installation URL, it's all this HTTPS, GitHub, Talk 33. You can get it there, and you can actually get it from directly from, you can see here, this our B minor. Uh, specific address is, is right here. Custom miner for high OS. So you can copy all that directly from there and that's what I did. Let's go back there. Uh, the hash algorithm is Dynexol, that's in there. Then wallet wallet and worker template. So wallet. I'm gonna let the worker name, just this. Pure full URL, copy this. All right, and then we gotta put the extra config argument. So uh, this one gets, let's expand this. All right, for the extra argument, we're gonna say disable, disable so dash dash disable CPU, dash algorithm Dynex. Then we're gonna copy this into this, right there. Then malob endpoint HTTPS slash dash DNX, that this is US. This is US where I am, so. I'm gonna copy that there. And again, you can grab it directly from, from the site there. There it is. Um, all right, so let's keep going. That's the pool. US, that's the port, 1966, 1666. And then the wallet, you're gonna do dash dash wallet. You're gonna copy and paste your wallet right next to it. All right. And then the GPU clock, uh, and then uh, the offset for GPU memory offset. You can just do that. I'm not gonna do that right now here. I'm gonna do it directly into the mine, into the Hive OS. But you can set up the 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 clocks and the offset the offsets there. All right. And then the password. There. All right, and then after you do that, you're gonna apply changes and you're gonna save this this fly sheet. Okay, as soon as the fly sheet is created, you're gonna go to the rig and you're gonna apply the the fly sheet that we just created for Dynex. So you're gonna click there and apply it. Okay, and you're gonna let it run and see the hash rate you get in. 
uh, for each uh, clock uh, set on the memory set you're gonna click on the specific uh, core clock offset or memory clock set so each GPU has its own so I don't have this yet because I only uh, was able to uh, offset this these two the 3080 here and the 2080 and I just got the 3080 offsets there so the overclock settings are there what you do is you go to again to hashrate.no and you find your GPU and then you're gonna find the specific uh, memory clock or, or core clock uh, settings and you want to go back to uh, OS and, and type in there and, and, and apply it and see the hash rate you get in. So that's pretty much uh, how you mine uh, on high OS. Let's go back to ekapool.com worker statistics you're going to paste your address there and you're going to start seeing let's refresh this let's get the latest so and you start seeing the, the hash rate you're producing uh, the average that's 24 hours and then you'll see uh, what do I have here you'll see the the payments you that you start getting in your wallet all right and there you have two ways of getting and mining Dynex uh, one in Windows and the other on Hive OS there's actually a third way which is to run a node on your computer and setting that up and getting paid in Dynex as well let me know if you are interested in that and I, I can do a short video on that uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any problems or any questions, let me know. I try to address those in the comment section. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.